Good morning guys, roof cleaning today, um, fairly easy one actually, well <laughs> do I dare say that because whenever I say something like that it always ends up to be a nightmare but um, it looks okay, touch wood. Right so uh, let me turn you around, so nice uh, straightforward roof there, excellent access. Brilliant, love jobs like this. Um, hmm. Might be able to wheel my scaffold around here actually. I'll have to take a section down because getting it down that lip, it could tip over. But hmm. yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. Ah, oh, <laughs> if it wasn't for that step there, I could have wheeled it around from there to there, gutted. So yeah. No matter what, I've got to dismantle it and um, um, bring it around there and then put it back together. Oh, what a shame. Damn you, step. Anyway, right, nice easy access around here. Nothing in the way. Patio could do a clean. <laughs> cool, yeah, look at those weeds. Check it out. I might ask, might ask them if you want it doing. Probably won't want it doing this year because it's, uh, it's, it's autumn, so uh, most people don't want anything doing until the spring. So, anyway, there's the back. Hardly any moss on there, just a bit of a yellow lichen on the sides, right to the far edges, a uh, bit of white white lichen, um, but yeah, cool, that's a nice easy side there, cool, this is this is too good to be true this job, I, I actually, you're probably wondering well didn't you see it anyway, but no I actually quoted this from uh, online, so uh, I have actually, this is the first time I've actually been here, right so, first things first, that's the neighbour's car. Uh, there's quite a big, it's quite a wide driveway there, but I'm just gonna knock anyway and say hello, say look, if anything goes on your side, um, I will clean it up. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll do now. Actually, I'll keep recording, but I won't put the camera in their face because um, a lot of people don't like being recorded. Good Hello. morning, I'm really sorry to bother you. Um, I'm just letting you know I'm working next door. I'm just about to clean their roof. Um, I don't think it's gonna go on your car, but there may be the odd little bit, but if it does, I will clean it up. It's no problem at or all. Or if it's a problem, let me know and I can just move it. Yeah, sure. Um, I don't think it will be, but I'm just letting you know if there is anything that comes over your side, please don't be concerned, I will clean it up. All right. It's no problem. Okay, okay thanks very much. Right. Cheers. Thanks Thank lot. you. Right. Cheers. Okay, they seem quite reasonable. Um, yeah, right, let's get set up. I've just realised I've forgotten to load my tarpaulin. Um, and look at the gravel. Boom. Oh, so, somebody's going to be picking out moss from the gravel for about half an hour. Oh, what am I like? What am I doing? Um, wouldn't be able to cover this anyway because I'll end up squishing those, squishing all the plants. Um, let's see. Oh, it's not too bad actually. I reckon at the with the way the roof is angled, most of it's just going to fall here. Might get the odd bit in there, but that's fine. Look, I don't mind picking stuff out, tidying it up, rinsing it down. It's just there. You can see along that edge, I don't know if you can see, there's quite a lot of moss. But do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to aim it back in that way. So aim the lance to the point sort of going that way so it just falls there. There's no doubt some will fall there, but there's nothing I can do. I'm not driving back. It's a 30 minute drive from where, from my house so and oh back into Cambridge this this time of day early morning and sort of eight o'clock in the morning absolute nightmare take me a couple of hours I reckon anyway that's not happening it's not an option I'll just have to do as best I can um 
So plan of action, this side today, um, this is the first side I'll do, this is all I'll be doing today, one day this side, one day the other side, because remember guys, I am on my own, I do everything. Um, I am planning on um, taking someone on next year because I just can't handle it on my own anymore, so um, watch this space, that's what I'm planning on doing, but uh, for now, it is just me. Right, anyway, I'm gonna get the scaffold set up get cracking okay water's filling up in the bin so I just need to disconnect this down pipe there then I'm gonna get my scaff tower up and I'll be ready to go let's do this So I just wanted to point something out because you might be, some of you might be wondering why I'm only putting one of the supports out off the metal. Now, any of you, any, every single person who owns a metal will know what I'm talking about. These little bits on the end, these little plastic bits, they snap and they break off. They'll break off in little bits. I mean, if you're lucky, they'll just come off in little bits at a time. But sometimes they just snap off completely. Eventually, they'll, they'll they will just break off. So like that, for example, me tower, if you're listening, make these out of metal. I have no idea why you make them out of plastic. They snap constantly. So I can't get this one out now, it's stuck down there. Obviously, look, if I had a little poke about, I could probably pull it out, but um, every time I put it back in, it's just gonna get stuck back in there again. Um, so yeah, I need to get a new uh, plastic little nubbin or whatever the hell they're called. Anyway, so, that's just an explanation as to why I've only got one out. Right, time to get the correct balance on the pole. So uh, as I've said in a previous video, it's all about getting it to hover. So you're taking almost no weight of the pole. Let's get, let's get cracking. Okay, not too bad. Mainly around the edges, up the top and the ridge tiles. There's a little bit in the middle, but this is quite a nice job. Let's wait for something to go wrong. Touch wood.
so we're going pretty well. Now that's probably two thirds of the roof done, probably took me about an hour, so we're going really well. Anyway, right, you're probably wondering why I've left that patch right there, and there's a reason. Okay, so in quite a few of my engine is about to cut out, must be low on fuel, yeah. Anyway, any of you who follow me on a regular basis will know I've done quite a lot of roof cleaning videos and in nearly every video I get, I will get some sort of, I wouldn't say abuse, but I do get abuse. Okay, so I get people telling me um, that I basically destroyed the roof, I've, da I've taken off, off that protective coating and uh, it, it's, it's uh, shortened the life of the roof. So, right, as you can see, this is quite patchy because um, the original coating, which is the dark brown colour, not that, that's dirt. Well, dirt and organic growth. As you can see, you've got like the darker colour, which is the original brown coating, dark brown coating of these tiles. This house is probably, I would say, uh, uh, an educated guess, late 80s, early 90s. Now, those, the, the coating that comes with these tiles just wears off through natural weathering. In fact, I'm amazed that this is still so brown, so dark brown, because normally they, it's completely worn off after about 20, 25 years. And this is what, 35, 40 years old this room. I'm about to move the scaffold over and I'm going to scrub that by hand with just a bit of bleach, uh, just a, a, a nylon brush, and you'll see absolutely no difference from the, that patch there to the rest of the roof. You'll see that the tiles look exactly the same as what they do after they've been pressure washed, just from a bit of bleach and a scrub. So yeah, so this is what the tiles look like. It's just that us roof cleaners uncover it. There, there seems to be this misconception that with um, roofers or, not all roofers, some roofers um, and some other people that we've taken that coating off. It's just not the case. Anyway, enough waffle, let me show you. I'm gonna move the scaffold over. Okay, I'm back. Whoop. Right, I'll go back. So, um, right next to the roof. So, uh, here you go. There's the old dark uh, coating that come, would have come on these tiles uh, originally back when they were brand new. Um, but like I've said before, this coating wears off just through natural weathering. I mean, think about it. If you were to put a car up the height of a roof, a brand new car, let it sit there unprotected for 40 years, 35, 40 years. What do you think that paintwork is going to look like? It's going to be absolutely destroyed. Oh, look, I know you could say, well, it's not the same paint, but I mean, it's, it's, it's the same sort of principle. Natural weathering, the wind and the rain. So anyway, I'll stop going on about that. I'm going to show you, so I've got my mask, bucket of hypo. I'm just going to scrub this, leave it for 10 minutes and you will see that the tiles look identical to, every, to the bit where it's been pressure washed. Anyway, let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for 10 minutes because it does take a little bit of time for the hypo to just eat up that dark organic matter. But once that's been sat there for 10 minutes, I'm just gonna get a little bit of water, rinse it off. And I'll tell you what, if that's not, doesn't look identical to the rest of it, I'll be absolutely amazed. Anyway, right, let's do it. Right, let's hose this off and see what it looks like. So there you go. Um, not really, I mean, I would challenge anyone 
you didn't know I'd just done that to, to spot that area it looks no different to the rest of the roof you can see look this is where I've just cleaned see all, the, all that all that um, original brown weathered away see? Yeah. you can see there's white lichen there still the pressure washer would have taken off um, so yeah there you go Okay, so that's me moved over, ready to do this part. Now, tell me, can you spot where I've scrubbed with the with the bleach and the nylon brush? Because I can't. In fact, I know roughly where it was I did. It was that sort of section there. But it looks absolutely no different to the rest of the roof. Right. Anyway, enough of that, let's get this done. Okay, so that's the bulk of it picked up. I still need to, still need to do a, a thorough rinse down, but um, yeah, that's most of it taken care of. So I'm going to treat the roof now. Once that's done, 
um, have a clean up and then I'm done for today. Ah, actually, no, I'll take the scaffold down and put it around the back so I'm ready first thing in the morning. Yeah. Okay, that's the roof treated, looking good. There's quite a bit of black spot up there, so uh, definitely, it's definitely benefited from the hypo treatment, that's for sure. Um, looking much nicer. Right, let's get this scaffold down, take it round the back, get it put up again, ready for tomorrow. Then I'm gonna have a rinse down, only a little, there's not much to do here, but uh, a little bit. So yeah, have a rinse down and then um, that's me done for the day. Right, let's do that. leak at the end of my hose so time to call it a day um, scaffolds up around the back didn't film that because I couldn't find somewhere to mount my camera I'd already packed my ladder away so I'm, uh, 
yeah didn't film that that's up ready to go for tomorrow this is rinsed down yeah ready to crack on tomorrow but um got to get up there clean up some of the moss and actually um clean the actual roof itself as well so yeah still more to do anyway see you in the morning Good morning. Okay, so day two of this roof clean. As you can see, I've got my waterproofs on. It's absolutely soaking today. It's gonna to be like this all day apparently. Now I did consider taking the day off and postponing. But the problem is I'm so booked up that if I do that, I'm just gonna get really, really behind. And it's going to be more stressful than actually just sucking it up and getting the job done today in the soaking rain now i can do the pressure washing no problem in the rain it's not a problem i've got my waterproofs on yeah it's not going to be very comfortable today i'm going to get wet but um it's the chemical now if i get uh, a sort of 10 20 minute um sort of break in the rain which i'm hoping is going to happen because it never stays heavy rain all day that very rarely happens i can get the chemical on i just increase the dosage get it on put a load of surfactant in it get it foaming up so it sticks to the roof um just need a 10 15 20 minute window for that to kill everything and if it then gets rained on and washed off that's okay it's not a problem um but no matter what i'm going to be pressure washing today so let me you can probably hear it on the top of the van hear that anyway I've found an issue already already around the back. <laughs> right, so look, that's nothing to do with me. Uh, that's a badly, um, badly fitted uh, gutter. The downpipe's over there. It should all be leaning one all the way down there. There's no blockages. I cleared it all out yesterday. That's completely empty. It's just leaning down there, so. Apparently the guys who fitted this last year are coming back to put that out, so uh, yeah, not great really. But hey, okay. right. So there is my scaffold. I put erected that yesterday. So um, see where the down pipe is there. I need to disconnect. As a bush. Now, there's no way I can get a ladder up there. Uh, I don't really want to go next door. So, I reckon if I just push the scaffold over as far as I can. And there's a step there. Yeah, so I'm going to have to adjust, push it over, adjust the legs. Oh, this is going to take about 20, 30 minutes just to sort out. Right, anyway, first problem is brilliant. <laughs> anyway, we'll deal with it as best we can. Okay, so I've managed to uh, get the scaffold as close as I can to the downpipe, I reckon I can reach from there, uh, but we shall see. Let's get up and see if we can disconnect it. Okay, so there's no way I'm gonna be able to disconnect that. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I've managed to block the downpipe over there. So nothing's going to go down there. It's just going to start overflowing. Yeah, it's going to create more mess, but that's fine. I'd rather clear up more mess than deal with a blocked downpipe. Anyway, right, so there you go. There's the roof. Really not that bad at all. If it wasn't for this horrible weather, it'd be a nice easy day, but hey, such is life. Anyway, enough waffle, we we'll get this done.
okay. I look like a drowned rat. I feel like one as well. Um, right, so that's just over half of the roof done. So I'm going to move the scaffold tower over, get this done, get that side done. Um, there's almost nothing on this roof. It's just a case of getting rid of the sort of biofilm that's on there. Um, there's very little in the way of lichen and moss. I'm ready to put the chemical on. It's still raining, but it's not, I wouldn't class it as heavy rain. It's just about acceptable for me to put the chemical on. But as um, a sort of precautionary, me precautionary measure, I have upped the dosage. So normally I'd go in at four, three or four to one. I'm going in at a two to one and I've doubled the amount of surfactant I've put in it. So it really sticks to the roof. Plus I'm gonna apply it by brush. These days I apply it by spraying it on with a spray nozzle. Um, but because I really want that surfactant to foam up and stick to the roof and stick to the tiles, um, that's what I'm gonna do, apply it by brush. Yeah, it takes a little bit longer, but I wanna make sure that the, the, the chemical is doing its job and killing everything up on the roof. So that's what I'm doing now. Anyway, enough talk, let's do. So that's a success. I can see that the um, any little bits of moss left behind, I can see they've turned white. So that's dead now. Um, there were little black spots on some of the tiles. I can see they've gone. So yeah, that's worked a treat. Okay, it's cost me a little bit more money in hypo, a little bit more money in uh, surfactant, but it's worth it because I want to get the job done properly. And if it means spending a little bit more money, then so be it.
Right, okay, let's take a final shot of this.
Right, so this is the EPDM roof. You can see they look like um, snail marks, slug marks. Anyway, so you can see how clean it could be. Yeah. So, um, so I'm just going to sweep up that, clear up the gutters, then I'm going to put the chemical on. And, uh, I'm on the blocks. Okay, right. Let's do it. Okay, so I've just got to uh, point something out. So, see that there? That was a yellow bit of lichen, like here, so. Like right that bit there? So, this is to show you that lichen, yellow lichen, white lichen, as it grows, it secretes acid. So, that's a permanent mark. You can't get rid of that because that's been burnt into the EPDM rubber so this is why when people say oh lichen don't do any harm to the roof it actually does it does secrete acid as it grows and it eats into the tile so there's your there's your example there's an example that's a permanent thing that's that is burnt into the rubber because of the acid anyway let's get this finished Right, that looks pretty good. There's a few little marks on it um, from the lichen burns and stuff like that, but uh, overall, the vast and pleasing. Anyway, I'm done. Time to pack up and get dry. Okay, everyone, that's me done. I'm just letting my backpack run through clean water. Most everything is loaded up on the van, just got to put my bin on. So, uh, I'm done. I'm done for this job. 
absolutely soaked through, gonna get changed, get dry, and go and get myself a nice cup of coffee. Anyway, see you on the next one guys, cheers.